Good morning, leopards. Welcome to our class and a video ring today on a Monday morning. Today is the start of a brand new week. Today is the 20th and our month. Who can remember the name of the month? We are over halfway of this month, so you should remember it by now. Not June. June? La, yes. And the season is still, as you can see how teacher's dressed, it's still winter. Our weather outside should be warm and sunny, well, cold and sunny, seeing as it's winter. Now today, the 20th of July, is a special day. Who can remember? Whose birthday are we celebrating today? Yes, Priscilla's. And I'm sorry that we can't share the day with Priscilla at school today, but we will be celebrating it tomorrow when you get back to school on Tuesday. But I thought we might as well, in the spirit of birthday, sing happy birthday. Shall we sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Priscilla. Happy birthday to you. Right. Now, today for my green bag, I've got a few goodies inside. These things are clues for songs or rhymes that you already know. Ooh, I can see something with lots of legs. Ooh, it's stuck. What is that? A spider. What song or rhyme do you know about a spider? Incy wincy, let's go. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Catch the little spider but don't squash him. Let him go. Bye bye spider. Let's see what else is in here. Oh! What is this one? It looks like oh, something for a birthday. Yes, pat a cake. Maybe we should sing pat a cake for Priscilla. So it can't be a B for baby on the cake. We'll have to put a P for Priscilla. Will you remember that when we sing? Get your hands ready, warm them up. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with P. Put it in the oven for Priscilla and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with P. Put it in the oven for Priscilla and me. Well done, leopards. Ooh, there's something else in here. Oh, squirming away. It's running away. I've got you. I've got you. Who is that? Hmm, what song or rhyme do we know with this little mouse? Yes, well done. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. Show me your mouse ears. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. What did the mouse do with two? Yes, he tied his shoe. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock, little tongue twister. The clock struck three. The mouse had tea. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock, tick tock. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh. What is this one? Hello. What song or rhyme do we know with a bunny? I can think of two actually. See the little bunny sleeping. Let's start with that one. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we try and wake them 
with fair Mary tune. Oh, so still are they ill? Wake up now, hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 hop. Look, he's still hopping. Hop bunny, hop back in the green bag. Whoops. What about when we visit the pet store? Isn't there also a bunny in that song? Hmm, maybe not. Let's keep looking in the green bag. I thought I had, I saw something earlier, but now I can't see it. Whoa, who is this? Meh, meh, meh. Look how fun is this one? It's a mix. We've got a white sheep and a black sheep. We definitely know a song about that. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. And now look. Ba, ba, white sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the jersey and one for the frock. And one for the little girl, maybe with holes in her sock. We know another one about sheep. Oh, fluffy sheep. Oh, fluffy sheep. Oh, fluffy sheep are wonderful. They're full of fluff. Fluff and more fluff. Oh, fluffy sheep are wonderful. Let me hear you. And their pets. All right. I think that's everything from, from this green bag for now. Let's close it up and hang it on the wall. Now, I wonder if you've noticed which country's flag is behind me because that is giving you a clue about what we are learning about this week. Yes, it's South Africa. Now, remember when we learned about the globe and the world, we looked at the earth and we looked at all the different continents. But now we are specifically going to learn about our country, South Africa. So let me quickly grab my globe here on the side. There we go. Here's my earth. And I can show you here. This is our continent of Africa. Our planet is Earth, remember, and our continent is Africa. Then right at the bottom of Africa, we get our country, South Africa. Yes. Now here up close, you can see South Africa is also divided into smaller parts. We live in Gauteng. That's our province. It's the piece that's colored in red. Gauteng has different cities and towns. We live in Johannesburg. Here is our city from above. And look at all the beautiful purple jacaranda trees in Johannesburg. Johannesburg also has different suburbs. At school, we are in Parkview. Look, do you recognize the Parkview shops? And look, where is that photo taken? Yes, it's our Parkview school. I've quickly school. got dressed warmly again and put my mask on because I'm going to take you on a walk around the school so that we can go and find out from the other staff members in which suburb they live. And maybe then you'll understand the idea of the suburbs a little bit better. Let's go have a walk. Let's have a look, there's teacher Zahn. Hi, who are we talking to? We're talking to the leopards, teacher Zahn. Hello, just, leopards. We came to find out in which suburb you live. In which suburb? Yes. I live in Melville. Oh, teacher Zahn's around the corner then from <laughs> teacher Mareka. All right, let's yeah. see who else we can find and where they live. Give a wave. Oh, it's festive this side. Let's see who's on the side of the school. Hi, Priscilla. Hello. The leopards would like to find out in which suburb you live. I live in Newlands. In Newlands. Yeah. Newlands is very close to where Isla goes to gym. Yeah. Let's find out from teacher Megan. Oh, there's yeah. teacher Laurie too. Hello. Hello, Hello. teacher Megan. Hello. We came to find out in which suburb you live. Oh, I live in 
Johannesburg and yeah. my suburb is Parkview. Oh, are you close or far from the school, teacher I'm Megan? I'm very close to the school. I can walk here. Oh, lucky, lucky teacher. Mm -hmm. And let's find out from teacher Lori. Hello, guys. I'm getting ready for a science experiment. Ooh, I but forgot. Freezing. I must get ready too. Teacher Lori, we just want to double check in which suburb do you live? I live in, Prim in Victory Park which is not far from the school. It's only five minutes away. Victory Park, that's another suburb, suburb you know now. Thanks, Teacher Lori. Maria. <laughs> we just want to find out in which suburb you live. I live in, uh, in Melville suburb. It's Mel also Melville. Also Melville. I thought you moved. Are you back not in far, Melville? Not far from Melville. Okay, oh, so now we are three in Melville. <laughs> All right, one in Victory Park and one in Park View. Let's find Debbie. She's the last one we have now. Who's hiding in the office? Let's look. Who's there? Hello, Debbie. Hello. Debbie, we would just like to find out in which suburb you live. I live in Forest Town. Forest Town, that's near the one. zoo. Ooh, can you hear the lions roar from I there? I can, and I can hear the monkeys mm. going, well, I don't know what they do actually, but they make uh, a noise, especially on a Saturday morning. I don't know why. Maybe they're hungry. Maybe. Oh, okay, oh, thanks, Debbie. Okay. Let's go back to class. Okay, bye. Now, remember, a while ago in one of our rings, out of our green bag, there was a challenge for you to practice remembering your own home address. Because if you know your home address, once you know that you're on Earth, you're in Africa, you're in South Africa, you're in Gauteng, you're in Johannesburg, you're in Parkview. Now, where in Parkview are you? Maybe some of you are in a different suburb. I'm in Melville. So I'm in Fourth Street in Melville. So please remember. To go and learn your address if you haven't done so by now. Now I would like to show you some pictures. South Africa is really a special country and the world often refer to us as a rainbow nation. Look here how these girls have decorated themselves with the South African colors. South Africa is also called a rainbow nation because we are made up of all kinds of different people. We talk different languages, we have different religions, we have different skin color, but that doesn't matter because deep down we are all people and we are all the same. We all need love, we all need care, we all need each other. We are really special. We've got a rainbow flag. We talk so many different languages. There are 11 national languages in South Africa. Can you count to 11? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yes, well done. And look, if you look at our money, these are our different notes in South Africa. Even that looks like rainbow colors. Right, we look at, at these up close when you get back to school tomorrow. Something else that's interesting about South Africa is the big five safari animals. Look, the leopard, the rhino, the elephant, buffalo and lion. Those are referred to as South Africa's big five animals. And many tourists from around the world come to South Africa to try and spot those animals. Now it's green bag time. Ooh, a red paper for a change. Oh, look! Oh, what shape did I get? A heart. Our heart challenge for the day is a question. It asks, what do you love about our country, South Africa, and its people? What do you love about our country, South Africa? Go and think about that one. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Bye-bye.